Hello, my lovely fire signs, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. How are you doing? Hope you are doing wonderful. So let me call in my spirit guides and my higher self to guide and protect me in this reading and to let me be aware of the message being given to me so I can give that message to you, the viewers. What is the message, spirit? What is the energy for February 1st through the 8th? What's the energy for Sagittarius Leo Aries? What is the message? All right. What is the message? Ooh, we have an Ace of Wands here. We have a new beginning, a new passionate love, a new romance. Somebody's been wanting this romance. They've been thinking about it for some time now. And now they're like going to take action on it. I feel like, you know, they want fairness. They want things to be 50-50 within this relationship. And I, I definitely feel, wow, we have the Sun card here. So the Sun card is definitely showing um, abundance, happiness, success. Success within a relationship. Um, that, you know, you possibly are, could be, could manifest could have manifested this relationship, okay? Bring this down a little bit. You manifested this relationship here. Um, this is a new start, a new journey. You could be dealing with someone younger than you. Who is this person here? There's someone here. I feel like there is someone here who is um, trying. It's like some kind of competition. It's like you want this new beginning, you want this success, you want this victory, and you're going after it, okay? You have this idea in your mind that, you know, well, you know what you want. You want that happily uh, ending right here. You want that Ten of Pentacles, okay? You want that success. You want that victory. You want that abundance, really. Um, and you're going to get it. You're definitely going after it, you know? You're on a mission for that. It's your passion to get, it's like you want to get settled. But what is this page here? It's like your intuition is speaking to you. Um, and I feel like, you know, um, most of you are listening to it, but you're not listening to it. It's like, what is it? What is it that your intuition is trying to speak to you about? It's trying to speak to you. It is speaking to you. It's telling you, you know, um, the more work you put in, the, uh, the more that you'll get, okay? So we have somebody who's manifesting something. But um, we have the death card here, so you could be dealing with the Scorpio energy. It's like you're working really hard for something, you know. Um, it's a big transformation. It's a big change. You want a big change. Yes, there's a completion. There is definitely a completion, okay? This completion, you're walking away from something that no longer served you. Something wasn't 50-50 or something isn't 50-50. They're not giving you as you gave to them, okay? Yeah, the Six of Pentacles in reverse here. So we have the Sun card. We have someone returning from your past with the Sun. We have a union here. And we have the Nine of Wands. So this is standing strongly and what your beliefs are, okay, and holding on to that passionate love, that romance on the bottom of the deck, make a wish, fire sign. This is um, definitely hope, dreams, desires coming true. Um, we have, you know, we have the ten of uh, the ten of swords here with the two of swords. You had to make a decision to let something go, and I feel like that what you let go of was a karmic relationship. 
okay? A very toxic karmic relationship um, that was definitely weighing, weighing down, weighing you down emotionally, emotionally weighing you down. You know, this tower moment, you could have been dealing with um, someone who was too clingy, okay? Definitely too clingy. Um, and there was the tower moment, which broke, you know, it broke your all apart. There was a split up. Um, we had the page of swords with the coins here. There was an offer. You've been waiting for an offer and it finally got made to you and you decided to take it up. It was actually your intuition speaking to you, you know, and once you got that, it was like, hey, I'm celebrating. I know what I want to do. I'm starting to manifest exactly what I want here with the Queen of Coins and the Three of Cups. So let's take a look at this new person coming in here. Well, it could be a Cancer. We have the Chariot. He could be traveling a ways to see you, to tell you how much he cares for you, how much he... He wants to start a beginning, the start of a relationship. Yeah, he's definitely traveling. He could be traveling overseas, possibly. It's kind of confused, though. There's confusion here. Because he loves you so much with the King of Cups. He definitely has abundance of love. He's been thinking about this love for some time, okay? He's been thinking about this, starting this new beginning with you. He took time off, okay, from speaking to you probably to go within, okay, and to really, there were so many options here with the Seven of Cups that I feel like he definitely picked one, and he's picking you with that card here. So let's see, Fire Sign, let's see what we're dealing with here. No, I shuffled these cords. Kind of funny. So let's see what the angels have to say. This is for fire signs, spirit guides, guardian angels. What is the message this card wants to come out? We have honeymoon. So you guys could be getting away, going on a trip together. You know, um, let me pull one more for fire signs with this new person coming in. So we have forgiveness and learning. So this could be definitely someone coming back from your past. Okay. Um, maybe you didn't date them in the past, but now they're they're coming in and you will, um, or vice versa. But there is forgiveness and, and learning. It says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. And I feel like that's that six of cups coming in here. Okay. I feel like you guys are um, going to enjoy the time together. You're not just going to sit around and watch movies. You're going to get out in nature. Maybe go to the lake, to the beach. Um, go do something fun within the community as well. And um, your love life is ascending to a higher commitment here. Some people could be getting engaged. I feel like this is a time for, you know, getting to know each other a little more. Not only that, but it's just, um, you know, it's, it's really about coming together and uh, making a commitment with one another. And I feel like um, this week is the time when you guys are really going to start to open up to each other. Okay, fire sign. Thank you so much. I'll see you next week.